Okay, you guys, so here is the view of the couch. I still need to complete the attaching the screws, the bolts, and of course, add the seat cushions as well as the feet. But do not give up. It is a beautiful sofa. Um, this is just my beauty room. So I wanted something small, but also super cute. How did we do it last time? Uh, I dropped it in there. Tilted. I tilted it. You lift, did it okay. up, then drop it. Uh, okay. Come. Okay. Wait. Okay. I tilted. Tilted in. Oh my God. Oh, we did it. Okay. Let's try. Let's try the back. Same thing. Let's pick it up. Try to lock in yours. In there? Nope, it's not in there. Here, lift it up. I guess this is why you could pay for assembly because this is super difficult. I'm gonna try to lean it to the side. The hard part is seeing. The hard part is seeing. Okay, you could try to do yours. Before you got here, like an hour and a half. And I already called customer service and I was about to return it. Okay, lift it up. I'm gonna try this side. Should we just act to death? The problem is I can't really see where I'm going. Braylon! Braylon! Tell Desmond to get a flashlight. I hear Get Tell Desmond to get a flashlight. Okay, let me see. That is Grab my phone on the counter. Oh, I think I got it. You got it? Woo! Okay, let's let's do the okay, let's do the other side. <sighs> Did you get yours? Did you get any more help? No. Ooh. Did you get yours? Not yet. Push it towards me. Ooh, I just can't see. Is it in there? Yes. Oh my god, you guys. All right, so this is gonna be the hardest part, really connecting the connectors to the armrest, the two armrests, and then the backrest. That is the hardest part. So you're gonna want to make sure you angle it. So we angled it, and then I angled the armrest, and then I lowered the, what's this called, the, um, the seat like the base yeah but that definitely was the hardest part so now it's more so screwing things in place and and that should be easy yeah um so i am happy but i was super frustrated i even contacted customer service and i was like this is not working um, of course, I went to YouTube looking for some videos and I did find one video. It was like 20 minutes long and um, she, even she was struggling in the video, but um, that was definitely helpful. So I figured I would also make a video. Her video was about three years old. So it wasn't, I think that was the only video that I actually saw someone assembling the couch so I figured I would go ahead and add my video um, in case, you know, because the couch is a really good price. Um, it's under $300. It's available on multiple websites. I've seen it on Amazon, um, Home Depot, but I ended up purchasing it from Target because Target did have a, um, a offer with an additional $40 gift card. So, of course, I went with that website but yeah you guys i was frustrated it took me over an hour and a half and i got nowhere i was just sitting here with all the pieces detached all right you guys so here comes the part that i'm nervous about because i'm really not a handy girl and i kind of want to call my husband to come help me but i really want to kind of complete this project on my own but here's all the nuts and screws um right now the directions are telling me to tilt and lay the sofa on its backrest onto a flat surface, attach the seat rest to the backrest 
using bolts, washers, and an Allen wrench. So, and then attach the seat to the left and right armrest. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so use the bolt, spring washer, regular washer, and Allen wrench as pictured above. Then attach seat D to, and then attach seat D to the backrest. So I guess I have to do this here and here. Okay, so which one is it? Um, here's the bolt. Okay, well it says little numbers next to it. So here's one. Two is the Allen wrench. Bolt number one. Spring washer. Let me go back to the picture. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back on in the upright position. I'm going to push down on the backrest and see if that kind of opens up the hole a little more. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to push down on here because possibly... Possibly that could be the reason. I'm just trying to push down on here, hoping that'll kind of help with that alignment. Oh, I hope this works. I thought the hardest part was putting the pieces together. I really want to accomplish this on my own, but I'm like ready to throw in the towel. All right, you guys. So thankfully that worked. Um, pushing it down a little bit more kind of made the alignment open up. So I got that one in there. Now I'm about to do the next one. So it was spring washer. Oops, not this. Bolt, spring washer, regular washer. <laughs> all right you guys oh lord have mercy all right not scratched <laughs> all right so i am at the point where i am at step five um which is one more step after this which is the seat cushions i am at step five this has been a long process but once you kind of get the swing of it even a rookie like me can feel accomplished, okay? So I am about to go ahead and put in the sofa legs. So it says, install the sofa legs at the bottom of the sofa by placing one gasket, which is this, placing one gasket on the threaded stem. So I guess it's the threaded stem. Here we go. Now, this should be easy. There's no bolts or anything. Just screwing that in place. Then insert threaded stem into the threaded mounting position at the corner of the sofa. Tightening by turning leg, turning the leg clockwise. All right, guys, I got three more to go. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and then I'll show you guys the sofa cushions, and then we'll be done. Ooh. Ooh. This couch is small, but it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. All right, let me get the sofa cushions. So there is like a small um, two two like velcro um patches on here um so hopefully that'll help they're right here as well people were complaining about actually to tell you the truth it was actually like a lot of mixed views some people were but you know that's how it goes some folks were saying how comfortable it was other people were saying that it was 
uncomfortable so you know you never could really tell with the reviews somebody also complained how you weren't able to like flip the cushions I know sometimes, you know, every couple of months, you kind of want to flip your cushions over, especially if it starts to become kind of like worn. But they were complaining that these ones, you're not able to flip them. So we'll see. I'll definitely come back in a few months and do an update. But I just needed something small and cute for this space. Um, but what I can see, it definitely is a little bit low. Um and but it's cute it don't look it doesn't look bad though like i said this is this is my beauty room it doesn't look bad i'm definitely not done setting everything up i'm going to end up moving this um vanity i'm going to move this vanity over here so i can have more um more space but here is how it looks. All right, you guys. So here is how it looks. Like I said, um, don't judge too harshly um, the entirety of this room. I'm definitely going to be rearranging some things around. But here is the sofa. It looks really cute. Um, the height, surprisingly, is not too bad. Um, I I like it. I, I definitely can't wait until I get everything organized the way it should be. But yeah, super cute. Of course, I'm going to do some pillows. I'm going to do a little throw blanket. So I'll come back and I'll update you guys. But for all purposes intended, I hope this video has helped someone. Watch it break as soon as I sit on it. <laughs> yes i got my tv right here so i'm super happy bye guys i really hate showing you guys the finished result when the room is not put together and there's definitely things that are out of place but for the purposes of how the couch looks, I did want to show you. Um, I just found this pillow. I didn't really find it. it. This pillow, I already had this pillow, but this is not going to be the one that I'm going to use um, for the couch. I just put that there so you could see, um, you know, for size reference. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up for all of my hard work. Like I said, we can do anything we want to do if we put our minds to it and this definitely put me to the test you guys but um for under 300 dollars, it's definitely giving me the look that i wanted hopefully through time it keeps up for what i need it for you know um it is a little bit delicate i would say like i was a little little bit nervous to sit down but um hopefully it keeps up i'll definitely come back and give y'all a little update all right y'all bye